Okay guys, quick update on the ninth generation OBS Ford F-150 digital instrument cluster project. Um, before I get started, uh, you'll hear some noise in the background. It's just my 3D printer going, so just kind of ignore that. I just wanted to do this update video here to get you guys updated. I know I haven't posted anything in a long time, and a lot of you guys have been asking me when's it going to be done, when's it going to be done. And the thing that's been tripping me up the most lately here is the fuel gauge, trying to get the fuel gauge to interact with the factory fuel sender correctly and to get a somewhat accurate reading on the display. I've had to go through a couple uh, interface design changes between the fuel level sensor in the truck and, and my gauge. I think I have everything figured out now, so I just wanted to show you guys what, what I got going on here. So I'm going to power the cluster up. And I don't have any sensors hooked up right now other than my, my, uh, my simulated fuel level sensor. But obviously that's your uh, tachometer right there, um, speedometer with odometer, uh, oil pressure gauge, voltage gauge, I don't have the sense wire hooked up, water temperature gauge, and this is the uh, fuel level gauge and percentage. Um, right now we're going to, I'm setting it to read about half a tank, my little uh, simulated sensor here. So 51%, 52%, that simulates uh, half a tank of fuel, and I'm going to turn this over to half a tank and you see it dropping and it went up for a brief second when I disconnected the uh, sender but it's going to drop to around 2% to simulate an empty tank just give it a minute here uh, one other thing I may do I may change the rate that that display updates let it continue to drop here it's a real slow filter to help compensate for the, the fluctuating fuel level in your tank as you drive down the road to you know the fuel sloshing all over the place making the sender go up and down Alright, so we're reading 4%, that's close to empty. I can fine tune that before I get it put in the truck. But let me go ahead and hook this up to the, the, the full level setting and see what it does. Alright, we'll just let that go up. If I didn't have this filter built into it, it would shoot all the way up to about 97, 98%. That's what we want right here. We want a nice slow transition. And again, I may actually slow that down even more by changing the update rate of the, uh, of the display. There we're at 96%, 97%. If I let this thing run, it may go up to 98 or 99, but again, I can fine tune that if need be. So, so far on the bench, with my simulated fuel level sensor, it seems to be working full, half, and empty. And I just wanted to show you guys, this was one version of the interface board that I built. And there's actually another version up under there. I know it's really hard to see where I got the camera set, but it's just kind of flopping around right there for now. Uh, final version, we'll have that all built onto the board. See, we're at 90, 99% now. 98%. Ooh, I must have bumped something. Did a bump my wires around. So anyway, the next step, I've got a brand new factory fuel level sender sitting here in a box. I'm going to get that unboxed and I'm going to hook it up there and I'm going to manually move the float arm up and down and we'll see how my gauge acts. Alright, here's a brand new aftermarket fuel level center for a 1996 uh, gasoline version F-150 two-wheel drive. Got it hooked up to the digital cluster. Right now the fuel gauge, which is right here, uh, reading 3%. Um, I, the wiper arm is all the way down, which would, it would be in the case if you were completely out of fuel. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move this and we're going to watch the fuel gauge go up. Okay. 
and it's hard for me to hold this steady. But we can see a change in the fuel gauge, it's nice and slow. It's about half a tank here. If I hold this for a little bit, it'll go up to around 50%. Again, we want a nice slow change in reading like it is. Yeah, we're pretty close to 50%. Now I'm going to hold this thing all the way open, or all the way up, it's rather. This would indicate a full tank. And you'll see here in a second, I got a little bit of calibration to do. 97%, 98, 99, that's actually 100%. So I've got it overshot a little bit, that's no big deal, I can make a small adjustment to that so it reads correctly. Part of the reason why it's doing that, this aftermarket fuel sender has a slightly different ohm range than the factory sender. So welcome to the world of Chinese aftermarket parts. Now I want to release this and let it go back down to the empty tank. You watch the fuel gauge steadily drop to around Alright, so the next step is get this thing all buttoned back up, get the new fuel sender put in the truck, and take this thing out for another test and see how we do this time. Just want to say I really appreciate all the support from you guys. I appreciate your patience with this project. Um, it's been a long, slow road. In addition to this product project, I still have a full-time job that I'm working through, so just about every free minute of my time is spent on this thing. Um, I'm actually on vacation right now for Christmas and I've had some time to sit down and take care of a couple things, get some things straightened out for you guys. Again, I appreciate all your patience, I appreciate your support. Uh, please feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.